The durian is the fruit of several tree species belonging to the genus Durio. There are 30 recognized Durio species, at least 9 of which produce edible fruit, with over 100 named varieties in Indonesia, 300 in Thailand and 100 in Malaysia. Durio zabathinus is the only species available in the international market, other species are sold in their local regions. Regarded by many people in Southeast Asia as the king of fruits, the durian is distinctive for its large size, strong odor, and thorn-covered rind. The fruit can grow as large as 30 cm long and 15 cm in, in diameter, and it typically weighs 1 to 3 kg Its shape ranges from oblong to round, the color of its husk green to brown, and its flesh pale yellow to red, depending on the species. Some people regard the durian as having a pleasantly sweet fragrance, whereas others find the aroma overpowering with an unpleasant odor. The smell evokes reactions from deep appreciation to intense disgust, and has been described variously as rotten onions, turpentine, and raw sewage. The persistence of its odor, which may linger for several days, has led to the fruit's banishment from certain hotels and public transportation in Southeast Asia. By contrast, the 19th-century British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace described its flesh as a rich custard highly flavored with almonds. The flesh can be consumed at various stages of ripeness, and it is used to flavor a wide variety of savory and sweet desserts in Southeast Asian cuisines. The seeds can also be eaten when cooked. Etymology <inaudible> 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 First used around 1580, the name durian is derived from the Malay language word duri meaning thorn, a reference to the numerous prickly thorns of the rind, together with the noun building suffix n. Topic: <laughs> Taxonomy. Durio sensu lato has 30 recognized species. Durio sensu stricto comprises 24 of these species. The six additional species included in Durio s. l. are now considered by some to comprise their own genus, Bashia. Durio s. s. and Bashia have indistinguishable vegetative characteristics and many shared floral characteristics. The crucial difference between the two is that anther locules open by apical pores in Bashia and by longitudinal slits in Durio s. s. These two genera form a clade that is sister to another genus in the tribe Durionei, Cullinia. These three genera together form a clade that is characterized by highly modified mono and polythicate, as opposed to bithicate anthers. The genus Durio is placed by some taxonomists in the family Bombacaceae, or by others in a broadly defined Malvaceae that includes Bombacaceae, and by others in a smaller family of just seven genera Durinaceae. Durio is often included in Bombacaceae because of the presence of monothicate anthers, as opposed to the bithicate anthers common to the rest of the mallows and angiosperms, in general. However, the first studies to examine mallow phylogeny using molecular data found that the tribe Durionei should be placed in the subfamily Helicteroidea of an expanded Malvaceae. The authors of these studies hypothesize that monothicate anthers have most likely evolved convergently in Durionei and in the Malvatheca clade comprising Malvaceae s, l, subfamilies Malvoidei and Bombacoidei. Description Durian trees are large, growing to 25 to 50 meters 82 to 164 feet in height depending on the species. The leaves are evergreen, elliptic to oblong and 10 to 18 centimeters 3.9 to 7.1 inches long. The flowers are produced in 3 to 30 clusters together on large branches and directly on the trunk with each flower having a calyx sepals and five rarely four or six petals. Durian trees have one or two flowering and fruiting periods per year, although the timing varies depending on the species, cultivars, and localities. A typical durian tree can bear fruit after four or five years. The durian fruit can hang from any branch, and matures roughly three months after pollination. The fruit can grow up to 30 cm in long and 15 cm in, in diameter, and typically weighs 1 to 3 kg Its shape ranges from oblong to round, the color of its husk green to brown, and its flesh pale yellow to red, depending on the species. 
Among the 30 known species of durio, nine of them have been identified as producing edible fruits, D. zabathinus, D. dulci, D. grandiflorus, D. gravolens, D. coutgensis, durio loianus, D. macrantha, D. oxlianos and D. testudinarius. There are many species for which the fruit has never been collected or properly examined, however, so other species with edible fruit may exist. The durian is somewhat similar in appearance to the jackfruit, an unrelated species. The name durian comes from the Malay word duri thorn together with the suffix an for building a noun in Malay. D. zabathinus is the only species commercially cultivated on a large scale and available outside of its native region. Since this species is open pollinated, it shows considerable diversity in fruit color and odor, size of flesh and seed, and tree phenology. In the species name, zabathinus refers to the Indian civet, Vivera zibetha. There is disagreement over whether this name, bestowed by Linnaeus, refers to civets being so fond of the durian that the fruit was used as bait to entrap them, or to the durian smelling like the civet. Durian flowers are large and feathery with copious nectar, and give off a heavy, sour, and buttery odor. These features are typical of flowers pollinated by certain species of bats that eat nectar and pollen. According to research conducted in Malaysia in the 1970s, durians were pollinated almost exclusively by cave fruit bats however, a 1996 study indicated two species, D. grandiflorus and D. oblongus, were pollinated by spider hunters and another species, D. coutgensis, was pollinated by giant honey bees and birds as well as bats. Some scientists have hypothesized that the development of monothecate anthers and larger flowers compared to those of the remaining genera in Durionei in the clade consisting of durio, bashia, and colonia was in conjunction with a transition from beetle pollination to vertebrate pollination. Cultivars Over the centuries, numerous durian cultivars, propagated by vegetative clones, have arisen in Southeast Asia. They used to be grown with mixed results from seeds of trees bearing superior quality fruit, but now are propagated by layering, marcotting, or more commonly, by grafting, including bud, veneer, wedge, whip or yew grafting onto seedlings of randomly selected rootstocks. Different cultivars may be distinguished to some extent by variations in the fruit shape, such as the shape of the spines. Durian consumers express preferences for specific cultivars, which fetch higher prices in the market. Most cultivars have a common name and a code number starting with D. For example, some popular clones are Sultan D24, KOP D99 Thai, Kibi Frog, Thai pronunciation, Kop Shani D123 Thai, Chen Gibbon, Thai pronunciation, T Ani, Bursera or Green Durian or Tuan Mek Hajau, D145 Thai, The Rayan K Green Durian Thai pronunciation, T Uri Nk Io, Khan Yao, D158 Thai, Khan Ya Long Stem Thai pronunciation, Ka Circumflex N Ya W, Mon Thong, D159 Thai, Hamexan Tung Golden Pillow Thai pronunciation, MNT, Kratom Thong Thai, Kratom Tung Golden Button Thai pronunciation, Kratom T and with no common name, D169. Each cultivar has a distinct taste and odor. More than 200 cultivars of D. zabathinus exist in Thailand. Mon Thong is the most commercially sought after, for its thick, full-bodied creamy and mild sweet-tasting flesh with relatively moderate smell emitted and smaller seeds, while Shani is the best in terms of its resistance to infection by Phytophthora palmivora. Khan Yao is somewhat less common, but prized for its longer window of time when it is both sweet and odorless at the same time. Among all the cultivars in Thailand, five are currently in large-scale commercial cultivation, Shani, Mon Thong, Khan Yao, Ruang, and Kratom. Since the 1920s, there have been more than 100 registered cultivars in Malaysia, and by 1992 there were up to 193. Many superior cultivars have been identified through competitions held at the annual Malaysian Agriculture, Horticulture, and Agrotourism Show. In Vietnam, the cultivar, Musong King, is a common variety preferred by consumers. By 2007, Thai government scientist Songpal Samsri had crossbred more than 90 varieties of durian to create Chantaburi No. 1, a cultivar without the characteristic odor. Another hybrid, Chantaburi No. 3, develops the odor about three days after the fruit is picked, which enables an odorless transport yet satisfies consumers who prefer the pungent odor. 
On the 22nd of May 2012, two other cultivars from Thailand that also lack the usual odor, Long Le Play and Lin Le Play, were presented to the public by Yuthan Samutkiri, governor of Uttaratit province from where these cultivars were developed locally, while he announced the dates for the annual Durian Fair of Le Play district, and the name given to each cultivar. Popular cultivars in Malaysia and Singapore Singapore imports most of its durians from Malaysia, hence the varieties are similar although there may be slight variation in the names include D24, which is a popular variety known for its bittersweet taste, XO, which has a pale color, thick flesh with a tinge of alcoholic fermentation, Chuk Kiok, Cantonese meaning, bamboo leg, which has a distinctive yellowish core in the inner stem, and Musong King. Musong is the Malay word for palm civet, which is usually the priciest of all cultivars. Musong King is known for its bright yellow flesh and is like a more potent or enhanced version of the D24. Topic: Cultivation and availability. The durian is native to Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia and is cultivated in other areas with a similar climate. It is strictly tropical and stops growing when mean daily temperatures drop below 22 degrees Celsius 72 degrees Fahrenheit. There is some debate as to whether the durian is native to the Philippines or was introduced, particularly the Davao region on the island of Mindanao. The center of ecological diversity for durians is the island of Borneo, where the fruits of the edible species of durio including D. zabathinus, D. dulci, D. gravolens, D. cutgensis, D. oxlianos, and D. testudinarius are sold in local markets. D. zabathinus is not grown in Brunei because consumers there prefer other species such as D. gravolens, D. cutgensis, and D. oxlianos. These species are commonly distributed in Brunei, and together with other species like D. testudinarius and D. dulci constitute a genetically diverse crop source. Although the durian is not native to Thailand, Thailand is ranked the world's number one exporter of durian, producing around 700,000 tons of durian per year, 400,000 tons of which are exported to China and Hong Kong. Malaysia and Indonesia follow, both producing about 265,000 tons each. Of this, Malaysia exported 35,000 tons in 1999. Chantaburi in Thailand holds the World Durian Festival in early May each year. This single province is responsible for half of the durian production of Thailand. In the Philippines, the center of durian production is the Davao region. The Kadayuan Festival is an annual celebration featuring the durian in Davao City. Durian was introduced into Australia in the early 1960s and clonal material was first introduced in 1975. Over 30 clones of Dizabathinus and six other durio species have been subsequently introduced into Australia. China is the major importer, purchasing 65,000 tons in 1999, followed by Singapore with 40,000 tons and Taiwan with 5,000 tons. In the same year, the United States imported 2,000 tons, mostly frozen, and the European community imported 500 tons. Due to the increasing popularity of durian in China, the price had risen up to 20 times over in four years, in a market that was worth nearly £400 million in 2018. Malaysia negotiated a deal with China to export the whole fruit frozen for the first time to China starting in 2019. Previously only Thailand was permitted to export the whole fruit to China. The durian is a seasonal fruit, unlike some other non-seasonal tropical fruits such as the papaya which are available throughout the year. In peninsular Malaysia and Singapore, the season for durians is typically from June to August, coinciding with that of the mangosteen. Prices of durians are relatively high compared with other fruits. For example, in Singapore the strong demand for high-quality cultivars such as the D24 Sultan, and Musang King Mao Shan Wang has resulted in typical retail prices of between $8 to $15 $5 to $10 per kilogram of whole fruit in 2007. With an average weight of about 1.5 kilograms 3.3 pounds, a durian fruit would therefore cost about $12 to $22 $8 to $15. The drive for the prices increase was due to its popularity in China, which drove the edible portion of the fruit, known as the ARIL and usually referred to as the flesh or pulp, only accounts for about 15-30% of the mass of the entire fruit. 
The increasing popularity of the fruit also saw the price of the Malaysian variety Musang King rise considerably. Durian farmers would see the prices they get increasing from 2 ringgit per kilogram to 60 ringgit per kilo by 2018, which made it a far more lucrative than palm oil or rubber, leading to an increase in durian plantation. Many consumers in Singapore are nevertheless quite willing to spend up to around $75 $50 on a single purchase of about half a dozen of the favored fruit to be shared by family members. In season durians can be found in mainstream Japanese supermarkets, while in the West they are sold mainly by Asian markets. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Flavor and odor. The unusual flavor and odor of the fruit have prompted many people to express diverse and passionate views ranging from deep appreciation to intense disgust. Writing in 1856, the British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace provided a much-quoted description of the flavor of the durian. The five cells are silky white within, and are filled with a mass of firm, cream-colored pulp, containing about three seeds each. This pulp is the edible part, and its consistence and flavor are indescribable. A rich custard highly flavored with almonds gives the best general idea of it, but there are occasional wafts of flavor that call to mind cream cheese, onion sauce, sherry wine, and other incongruous dishes. Then there is a rich glutinous smoothness in the pulp which nothing else possesses, but which adds to its delicacy. It is neither acidic nor sweet nor juicy, yet it wants neither of these qualities, for it is in itself perfect. It produces no nausea or other bad effect, and the more you eat of it the less you feel inclined to stop. In fact, to eat durians is a new sensation worth a voyage to the east to experience. As producing a food of the most exquisite flavor it is unsurpassed. Wallace described himself as being at first reluctant to try it because of the aroma. But in Borneo I found a ripe fruit on the ground, and, eating it out of doors, I at once became a confirmed durian eater. He cited one traveler from 1599. It is of such an excellent taste that it surpasses in flavor all other fruits of the world, according to those who have tasted it. He cites another writer. To those not used to it, it seems at first to smell like rotten onions, but immediately after they have tasted it they prefer it to all other food. The natives give it honorable titles, exalt it, and make verses on it. Despite having tried many foods that are arguably more eccentric, Andrew Zimmern, host of Bizarre Foods, was unable to finish a durian upon sampling it, due to his intolerance of its strong taste. While Wallace cautions that, "...the smell of the ripe fruit is certainly at first disagreeable." Later descriptions by Westerners are more graphic in detail. Novelist Anthony Burgess writes that eating durian is, "...like eating sweet raspberry blancmange in the lavatory." Travel and food writer Richard Sterling says, Its odor is best described as pig shit, turpentine and onions, garnished with a gym sock. It can be smelled from yards away. Despite its great local popularity, the raw fruit is forbidden from some establishments such as hotels, subways and airports, including public transportation in Southeast Asia. Other comparisons have been made with the civet, sewage, stale vomit, skunk spray and used surgical swabs. The wide range of descriptions for the odor of durian may have a great deal to do with the variability of durian odor itself. Durians from different species or clones can have significantly different aromas, for example, red durian D. Dulci has a deep caramel flavor with a turpentine odor while red-fleshed durian D. Gravolens emits a fragrance of roasted almonds. Among the varieties of D. Zabathinus, Thai varieties are sweeter in flavor and less odorous than Malay ones. The degree of ripeness has an effect on the flavor as well. Scientific analyses of the composition of durian aroma found numerous volatile compounds, including esters, ketones, and different sulfur compounds, with no agreement on which may be primarily responsible for the distinctive odor. People in Southeast Asia with frequent exposures to durian are able to easily distinguish its sweet like ketones and esters scent from rotten or putrescine odors, which are from volatile amines and fatty acids. Developmental or genetic differences in olfactory perception and mapping within the brain for e.g. anterior piriform cortex to the orbitofrontal cortex could possibly explain why some individuals are unable to differentiate these smells and find this fruit noxious whereas others find it extremely pleasant and appealing. This strong odor can be detected half a mile away by animals, thus luring them. 
In addition, the fruit is extremely appetizing to a variety of animals, including squirrels, mouse deer, pigs, sun bear, orangutan, elephants, and even carnivorous tigers. While some of these animals eat the fruit and dispose of the seed under the parent plant, others swallow the seed with the fruit and then transport it some distance before excreting, with the seed being dispersed as a result. The thorny, armored covering of the fruit discourages smaller animals, larger animals are more likely to transport the seeds far from the parent tree. Topic. Ripeness and selection According to Larousse Gastronomique, the durian fruit is ready to eat when its husk begins to crack. However, the ideal stage of ripeness to be enjoyed varies from region to region in Southeast Asia and by species. Some species grow so tall that they can only be collected once they have fallen to the ground, whereas most cultivars of Dizabathinus are nearly always cut from the tree and allowed to ripen while waiting to be sold. Some people in southern Thailand prefer their durians relatively young when the clusters of fruit within the shell are still crisp in texture and mild in flavor. For some people in northern Thailand, the preference is for the fruit to be soft and aromatic. In Malaysia and Singapore, most consumers prefer the fruit to be as ripe and pungent in aroma as possible and may even risk allowing the fruit to continue ripening after its husk has already cracked open. In this state, the flesh becomes richly creamy, slightly alcoholic, the aroma pronounced and the flavor highly complex. The various preferences regarding ripeness among consumers make it hard to issue general statements about choosing a good durian. A durian that falls off the tree continues to ripen for two to four days, but after five or six days most would consider it overripe and unpalatable, although some thais proceed from that point to cook it with palm sugar, creating a dessert called durian or thurian guan. Topic Uses Topic Culinary Durian fruit is used to flavor a wide variety of sweet edibles such as traditional Malay candy, ice kakang, dodal, lempik, rose biscuits, ice cream, milkshakes, mooncakes, yule logs, and cappuccino. S. Durian, durian ice cream is a popular dessert in Indonesia, sold at street side stall in Indonesian cities, especially in Java. Pulit durian or ketan durian is glutinous rice steamed with coconut milk and served with ripened durian. In Sabah, red durian is fried with onions and chili and served as a side dish. Red fleshed durian is traditionally added to sayur, an Indonesian soup made from freshwater fish. Ikan brankus tempoyak is fish cooked in a durian-based sauce, traditional in Sumatra. Dried durian flesh can be made into kripik durian, durian chips. Tempoyak refers to fermented durian, usually made from lower quality durian unsuitable for direct consumption. Tempoyak can be eaten either cooked or uncooked, is normally eaten with rice, and can also be used for making curry. Sambal tempoyak is a Sumatran dish made from the fermented durian fruit, coconut milk, and a collection of spicy ingredients known as sambal. In Palembang, Pangasius catfish can be either cooked as tempoyak ikan patin fish in tempoyak curry or as brankus pepis tempoyak, which is a steamed fermented durian paste in banana leaf container. In Thailand, durian is often eaten fresh with sweet sticky rice, and blocks of durian paste are sold in the markets, though much of the paste is adulterated with pumpkin. Unripe durians may be cooked as a vegetable, except in the Philippines, where all uses are sweet rather than savory. Malaysians make both sugared and salted preserves from durian. When durian is minced with salt, onions and vinegar, it is called badar. The durian seeds, which are the size of chestnuts, can be eaten whether they are boiled, roasted or fried in coconut oil, with a texture that is similar to taro or yam, but stickier. In Java, the seeds are sliced thin and cooked with sugar as a confection. Uncooked durian seeds are potentially toxic due to cyclopropene fatty acids and should not be ingested. Young leaves and shoots of the durian are occasionally cooked as greens. Sometimes the ash of the burned rind is added to special cakes. The petals of durian flowers are eaten in the North Sumatra province of Indonesia, while in the Moluccas Islands the husk of the durian fruit is used as fuel to smoke fish. The nectar and pollen of the durian flower that honeybees collect is an important honey source, but the characteristics of the honey are unknown. Nutrition 
Raw durian is composed of 65% water, 27% carbohydrates including 4% dietary fiber, 5% fat and 1% protein. In 100 grams, raw or fresh frozen durian provides 33% of the daily value DV of thiamine and moderate content of other B vitamins, vitamin C, and the dietary mineral manganese 15 to 24% DV table. History Origin of the durian is thought to be in the region of Borneo and Sumatra, grows wild in the Malay Peninsula, and was commonly cultivated in a wide region from India to New Guinea. 400 years ago, it was traded across present-day Myanmar, and was actively cultivated especially in Thailand and South Vietnam. The earliest known European reference to the durian is the record of Niccolo da Conti, who travelled to southeastern Asia in the 15th century. Translated from the Latin in which Poggio Bracciolini recorded Da Conti's travels, they people of Sumatra have a green fruit which they call durian, as big as a watermelon. Inside there are five things like elongated oranges, and resembling thick butter, with a combination of flavors." The Portuguese physician Garcia de Orta described durians in Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas da India published in 1563. In 1741, Herbarium Amboinense by the German botanist Georg Eberhard Rumpfius was published, providing the most detailed and accurate account of durians for over a century. The genus Durio has a complex taxonomy that has seen the subtraction and addition of many species since it was created by Rumpfius. During the early stages of its taxonomical study, there was some confusion between durian and the soursop for both of these species had thorny green fruit. The Malay name for the soursop is durian balanda, meaning Dutch durian. In the 18th century, Johan Anton Weinmann considered the durian to belong to castanei as its fruit was similar to the horse chestnut. D. Zabathinus was introduced into Ceylon by the Portuguese in the 16th century and was reintroduced many times later. It has been planted in the Americas but confined to botanical gardens. The first seedlings were sent from the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, to Auguste Saint Aroman of Dominica in 1884. In southeastern Asia, the durian has been cultivated for centuries at the village level, probably since the late 18th century, and commercially since the mid 20th century. In My Tropic Isle, Australian author and naturalist Edmund James Banfield tells how, in the early 20th century, a friend in Singapore sent him a durian seed, which he planted and cared for on his tropical island off the north coast of Queensland. In 1949, the British botanist E. J. H. Corner published The Durian Theory, or The Origin of the Modern Tree. His theory was that endozuchery the enticement of animals to transport seeds in their stomach arose before any other method of seed dispersal, and that primitive ancestors of durio species were the earliest practitioners of that dispersal method, in particular red durian d. Dulci, exemplifying the primitive fruit of flowering plants. However, in more recent circumscriptions of Durionei, the tribe into which durio and its sister taxa fall, fleshy arils and spiny fruits are derived within the clade. Some genera possess these characters, but others don't. The most recent molecular evidence on which the most recent, well-supported circumscription of Durionei is based therefore refutes Corner's durian theory. Since the early 1990s, the domestic and international demand for durian in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN region has increased significantly, partly due to the increasing affluence of Asia. Culture and folk medicine Topic: Cultural influences A common local belief is that the durian is harmful when eaten with coffee or alcoholic beverages. The latter belief can be traced back at least to the 18th century when Rumphius stated that one should not drink alcohol after eating durians as it will cause indigestion and bad breath. In 1929, J. D. Gimlet wrote in his Malay Poisons and Charm Cures that the durian fruit must not be eaten with brandy. In 1981, J. R. Croft wrote in his Bombacaceae, in Handbooks of the Flora of Papua New Guinea that, "...a feeling of morbidity," often follows the consumption of alcohol too soon after eating durian. 
Several medical investigations on the validity of this belief have been conducted with varying conclusions, though a study by the University of Tsukuba finds the fruit's high sulfur content inhibits the activity of aldehyde dehydrogenase, causing a 70% reduction of the ability to clear toxins from the body. The durian is commonly known as the king of the fruits, a label that can be attributed to its formidable look and overpowering odor. In its native southeastern Asia, the durian is an everyday food and portrayed in the local media in accordance with the cultural perception it has in the region. The durian symbolized the subjective nature of ugliness and beauty in Hong Kong director Fruit Chan's 2000 film Durian Durian, Lu Lian Piao Piao Lao Lin Piu Piu, and was a nickname for the reckless but lovable protagonist of the eponymous Singaporean TV comedy Durian King played by Adrian Pang. Likewise, the oddly shaped Esplanade building in Singapore, Theatres on the Bay, is often called the Durian by locals, and the Big Durian is the nickname of Jakarta, Indonesia. A durian falling on a person's head can cause serious injuries because it is heavy, armed with sharp thorns, and can fall from a significant height. Wearing a hard hat is recommended when collecting the fruit. Alfred Russell Wallace writes that death rarely ensues from it, because the copious effusion of blood prevents the inflammation which might otherwise take place. A common saying is that a durian has eyes and can see where it is falling because the fruit allegedly never falls during daylight hours when people may be hurt which is untrue as people have died from durian falling on their heads especially young children. A saying in Indonesian, Kediban durian runta, which translates to, getting a durian avalanche is the equivalent of the English phrase, windfall gain. Nevertheless, signs warning people not to linger under durian trees are found in Indonesia. Strong nylon or woven rope nettings are often strung between durian trees in orchards, serving a threefold purpose, the nets aid in the collection of the mature fruits, deter ground-level scavengers, and most importantly, prevent the durians from falling onto people. A naturally spineless variety of durian growing wild in Davao, Philippines, was discovered in the 1960s. Fruits born from these seeds also lacked spines. Since the bases of the scales develop into spines as the fruit matures, sometimes spineless durians are produced artificially by scraping scales off immature fruits. In Malaysia, a spineless durian clone D172 is registered by Agriculture Department on the 17th of June 1989. It was called Durian Botak, bald durian. In Indonesia, I. R. Sumeru Ashari, head of Durian Research Center, Universitas Brawijaya reported spineless durian from Kasamban, Malang. Another cultivar is from Lombok, Nusa Tenggara Barat, Indonesia. Animals such as Sumatran elephants and tigers are known to consume durians. One of the names Thailand contributed to the list of storm names for western North Pacific tropical cyclones was durian, which was retired after the second storm of this name in 2006. Being a fruit much loved by a variety of wild beasts, the durian sometimes signifies the long-forgotten animalistic aspect of humans, as in the legend of Orang Mawas, the Malaysian version of Bigfoot, and Orang Pendek, its Sumatran version, both of which have been claimed to feast on durians. Folk medicine In Malaysia, a decoction of the leaves and roots used to be prescribed as an antipyretic. The leaf juice is applied on the head of a fever patient. The most complete description of the medicinal use of the durian as remedies for fevers is a Malay prescription, collected by Berkel and Hanif in 1930. It instructs the reader to boil the roots of Hibiscus rosa sinensis with the roots of Durio zabathinus, Nephelium longan, Nephelium mutable, and Articarpus integrifolia, and drink the decoction or use it as a poultice. Southeast Asian traditional beliefs, as well as traditional Chinese medicine, consider the durian fruit to have warming properties liable to cause excessive sweating. The traditional method to counteract this is to pour water into the empty shell of the fruit after the pulp has been consumed and drink it. An alternative method is to eat the durian in accompaniment with mangosteen, which is considered to have cooling properties. Pregnant women or people with high blood pressure are traditionally advised not to consume durian. The Javanese believe durian to have aphrodisiac qualities, and impose a set of rules on what may or may not be consumed with it or shortly thereafter. A saying in Indonesian, durian jatu sarung naik, meaning, the durian falls and the sarung comes up, refers to this belief. The warnings against the supposed lecherous quality of this fruit soon spread to the West. The Swedenborgian philosopher Hermann Vetterling commented on so called 
erotic properties of the durian in the early 20th century. Topic. See also. Breadfruit. Jackfruit. List of delicacies. List of durian diseases and pests. Equals equals notes. <laughs>